Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Guys, I'm excited to get started. So today is the end of part two on Netflix. It is reunion. Uh, again, you guys said that part, the parts aren't that important. It's just like how Netflix organized it. But I imagine it's come to some sort of conclusion here. Also, I was told that the beginning of part three, I believe the next episode is like quote filler or like some kind of recap. Let me know down in the comments if I should react to it or if I should just watch it like on my own, just like skip past it. Just let me know down below. Either way, guys, we're going to hop right into it. I'm excited to see what we follow because we have this face off between Envy's true form against Ling and Ed and then of course Bradley up to no good using Hawkeye as like his personal assistant now keeping her close that she can't do anything uh, now he has a grip on Mustang not really sure what's gonna happen I'm excited to get started so we're gonna hop into it all right it's just like 3d rendered in such a creepy way too there's there's someone that's made out of his tongue too if Link dies, that'd be so depressing. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't like that! Nope! I wonder if they have to kill like all the heads. They seem like Envy got mad. Whenever he, he stabbed one of the heads. Him? At first, I only assumed that the main one mattered. That's a trick, Ed. He's a monster. That's so gross. Stop it's just such an unnerving form. What? Wait. I'm done playing. Why did he hear that voice? Are there like other homunculi there's like homunculi stored in envy if that was actually the, that girl's voice it's absorbing him oh. Open your eyes, Ed. Please wake up. dang ling's voice wake like up. desperation oh that visual is so gross oh, no. Dude, like, like I said ling just like the desperation his voice is so sad oh this little cat yeah, I saw one that looked just like it. It's not a cat, movie. it's a panda. I thought it seemed like a weird pet for a guy in a suit of armor to have. He actually did think it was a cat. <laughs> it's funny how she sees them as evil. The walk. What is Scar thinking right now? He looks like remorseful. It's weird. He wants to figure out what's going on. Call him a homunculus. Blood and he's just showing out of the way. He has the power to recover from any type of injury. So to father. Me. You're missing my point. I so this is the entrance? Just some mind. random alley? I mean, I guess it's like kind of like hidden in plain sight. What's the armored boy doing with him? Yeah, that must be confusing too, because they were fighting basically to the death. This place. It's strange. We could feel there was something wrong with this country since I got here. I mean, they know the HQ. Please. It's the source of it. Odd. We know this is like the headquarters of everything, right? Now is the father. I guess the father will be happy that he brought out because that was supposed to be a sacrifice. Are you cold? Oh, terrified, dude. Oh, it's so scared. I mean, Al's desperate, honestly. And the belly of the beast, man. I didn't know there were tunnels like this under Central. I wouldn't be too surprised. There's schools. Oh, they're props. The gatekeepers did all that. Gatekeepers? The gatekeepers? They won't rip you up as long as you're with me. I figured there'd be some. Just pretend they aren't there. That's who protects. I was about to say they get, they gotta have some kind of security. So if anybody, much further? if anybody Don't wanders walk. down there, they're done. So. You said your father made you. Does he know what happens to the people you swallow? I'm sure he does. Father knows yeah, everything. Yeah, probably. If he created gluttony. Father, I know you're still alive. Just hang on. Especially if the, if the father wants to get Envy back too. And Ed for the sacrifice. Is this the stomach? What is that? Oh, it's the philosopher's stone. stone. That's what's keeping it's Envy alive. Philosopher's stone. Is he realizing? He did realize something. Up, Your is me. <laughs> I think I've got a way to get us out of here. 
Oh! Envy would trade a way out, probably. How? Like, use the Philosopher's Stone in some way? They're fighting the gatekeepers? Oh my gosh! It's just a bunch of homunculi. Oh, chimeras. Much like the, uh, that poor girl. All right, let's go, bro! Actually seeing her in combat, I haven't really... I guess that she disappeared for a little bit. I, I tend to misuse, like, a homunculi and chimera, like, in coordinates with each other. It's stronger here. The energy. The yeah. There's something evil beneath us. Dude, I hope we get to see... No, it's worse. So... Like, we've seen the father before, like, part of his face. He made all of us, he did. He made me and Lust, and he made it be. I still think it's it's their dad, Hohenheim. Yeah, we've seen this room with all the gears, yeah, leading the to him. keepers seem to have grown restless. Someone's come to find me. It's not Hohenheim, but the beard looks so similar. Maybe it's like a twin brother. I don't know. My parents' faces are their name. In fact, I don't even remember my own name. Now, which one of you will be the one to step forward and lead this country? Dude, Bradley's backstory? How about you? They called us prospective viewers. They trained us to be leaders. Wow. They kept us confined together. And they taught us at all times of the day and night. We studied political science and humanities, as well as martial arts. What happened to the other people? And of course, swordsmanship. Or are those his, like, confidants now? And Bradley looks so young. My god. That's some intense training. Don't worry. His only true purpose in life was to help you further achieve your goal. I firmly believed it, and I endured any training to make it so. Good lord. Another failure. Bring the next. Oh, it's a beat. Go ahead and lie down. He was probably the only one that made it. Or the first What's one that made on it. Here? Just a... try not to think about it. This won't take long. God. I think the guy with the golden tooth will be like recurring. You are the 12th candidate. Oh, the father! You have what it takes to become my fury, my wrath. The Philosopher's Stone is created from the life force of countless human beings. Once injected, his eye changing into the sign. It begins to take over its new host. My body was repeatedly destroyed from the inside out. The only options I had were to die or to overcome its power. Wow. I chose the latter. So from the it's beginning amazing. of his life, We've made a new there was no human. jump or anything. Congratulations. You have been chosen to lead mankind down the path of destiny. That's how long. Everything has been arranged to provide you with all that you will need. From now on, your name will be King Bradley. That's how long they've been in power, Can like homunculi. So for dominance within me. Lived your life before as a human being. Why choose to be a homunculus? Barely. I don't Isn't think he chose. You could go back to being a, human a child. Or not. You suggest I become human again? Why would I possibly want to pursue such frivolity? Yeah, reject all that I power. Something far superior. Just as you. His mindset great pride in yeah. your humanity, misguided though that may. I too am proud because we also take pride in what we are. I don't see Bradley ever killed. Changing she his. She died with her pride intact, didn't she? His ways. There, that should help. All right, how are they gonna make it out? I collected all the fragments that I could find. Put them together. It's all from Xerxes? Pieces of a large mural from what remains of their temple. I saw the ruins of the mural up close. I thought it was identical to the transmutation circle from the fifth laboratory, but it's actually different. The sun represents the soul, while the moon symbolizes the mind. And then there's the stone canvas of the mural. This represents the body. Slow down. Like the physical form. Is it used to bring back dead people? Can't transmute a life form from a soul that no so longer So wouldn't one of them have to be world. sacrificed if they want to be sent back? So this is where I got the idea. Or could they use there. like some of Envy's? Can't transmute the dead. But what would happen if I transmute myself? You mean a living person? I is guess because he's not even technically. Use this transmutation is he technically alive? myself. Then I'll just put myself back together. Oh my That's God! Transmutation. I'll bet that if we pass through the real portal, then we'll wind up in our own. There reality. has to be some loophole. I'll open up the real portal, and then you two jump through it. What happens if it goes wrong? It'll rebound. A failed transmutation ricochets we'll kill him. onto the one who performed it. He's in willing to case, sacrifice himself. So. I'm not gonna act like I know anything about alchemy. This is all yours. Right. That's not like. 
Hey, Envy. I guess Envy could, but Envy won't. Something else that I wanted to ask you. But Ling couldn't. The partial mural I saw in Xerxes. This is the first thing that caught my eye. The symbol for God is written upside down. Neath it is the two-headed dragon. The alchemic symbol for a complete life form. This basically translates to I will strike God to Earth and become a perfect being. Well, that's certainly an arrogant concept. <laughs> it's not a big deal to talk about it. This piece takes it to the next level. The lion swallowing the sun, symbolizing the philosopher's stone. Yeah, that's right. The How could boys. a nation as advanced as Xerxes fall, let alone in a single night? What happened to its citizens? You sacrificed all of Xerxes. That's all. You turned them into a philosopher's stone. All of those people. Oh my God! Envy is insane. Was it? I want to know who used this to transmute himself. Who's trying to make the him father. powerful enough to surpass God? It was your father, wasn't it? Tell me, Envy. Holy crap! Is, he's been using you homunculi to try and recreate the destruction of Xerxes here in Amestris. You get us out of here and I'll gladly tell you everything. Of course. I'm tired of waiting for you to ask. You need to pay a toll, right? Envy to not confirming it is 100% confirming it. This work. Unless Ed has something else up his sleeve. Those are the citizens of Xerxes. That's absolutely they? disgusting. Time, but their minds and bodies crumbled long ago. They don't even remember what they looked like when they were alive. Would you hesitate to throw a bundle of logs onto a fire because you pitied the tree they came from? Amy, don't talk your way out of this escape. Go back to being human. I guess she's just giving it to him straight, but... To determine what a human is. Don't let your emotions decide. It's kind of keeping it real, but... Bling. This might not work out for me. So, you gotta warn people about these guys' plans. <laughs> and he's like, what? I'm not that concerned about Amestris. It's not my country. Oh, dude, Are Ling. He's about to literally sacrifice himself if things go wrong. You've got people you love waiting for you, don't you? So just make it back alive and tell them yourself. He doesn't even want to plan like he's gonna die. That's Ling's spirit. I'm sorry, but I need to use you. The people? Oh my gosh. That's so gross, though. All right. Posey makes when he transmutes. I knew it reminded me of something. He almost looks like he's praying. Ah, huh. that is a. I never even thought about that. That is a good like contrast. Too bad this isn't why I planned on opening you again. Wait, Project yet? You better know what you're doing. I'm trusting you. At this point, I would take any option. They're stuck in there. That's exactly like when Gluttony swallowed us. Good. You're trying to do reversal. To the people of yeah it's basically the sacrifice of them for this dude does gluttony feel this the body and the soul are connected to one another by the mind it's beautiful the portion of my body now hurdles toward the portal of truth there it is again now what's this you're not even trying to get your butt his arm and leg so this is it your father's on the other side things are what? happening too fast there has to be a way to rescue brother in here He's gonna All find right. out more. I made it. Where's the? There's two now. Are there always two portals. Wait. <laughs> he was right. She just eternally, eternally locked away. Wait, that's Al? That's Al's body? Oh my gosh. It is growing. I can only leave with my own soul. I'm sorry, I can't go with you. It's actually growing like they said. So, but now he knows. Now he can tell Al. Your body still exists in this world. And if they can get him to it, he can retain it. It's just sitting there waiting. He wants to bring it back. Oh, Look at me! I promise! Someday soon, I'm coming back for you! Just you wait! Wait for me! There's hope! Oh, I have chills. Oh my 
god dude just the soundtrack with it i thought it was their mom at first like that she was still actually locked away in this eternal purgatory it's the tra it makes more sense that it was actually out because it was the same like transmutation circle that they tried with their mom now if he can get back to al if he's actually taken back dude that would give them so much hope because now they know they're like now it's confirmed because previously they were fighting for something that that might exist now they know it exists now that they know it's obtainable and now i mean next episode is gonna consist of al meeting the father ed getting back hopefully with ling and envy i don't know where Lenvy even envy even fits in this anymore i just like a lot to take in and scar is gonna hopefully get down there too eventually with this girl and i too much to take in hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i love you all have a beautiful next couple days and uh i'll catch you next time peace